Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and tonight we're going to be going through May's Ipsy bag. For those of you who don't know, Ipsy is a $12 a month subscription. You get miniature to sample to deluxe size samples. Obviously, sometimes you get brushes. Uh, you fill out a little survey and they send you a cute bag and five things every month. So let's get into it because I'm just trying to get this video over with. It's been sitting on my desk for a day now. Happy Mother's Day. Well, happy late Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Stepmoms, real moms, moms of loss, pet moms. Hope you guys had a great day yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. Uh, we celebrated here because of, you know, all this stuff going on. My mother got me some things. I got her some things. My kids, you know, played with me all day and just had a good time. And then I made chili for dinner. So that was our day anyway. Um, this is the bag. I thought it was kind of like weird looking on the internet when I saw it, but it's kind of cute, but Emma's got her eyeball on it, so I took all the products out, but so she might end up getting it anyway because I have so many that I really don't even use, so that's the bag. This is the card for this month. Um, the theme is Get That Glow, and I opened this card and I was kind of, kind of, um, confused because usually this card has what you got a little description what the deluxe or mini size sample is worth and what the full size sample wor is worth and it only has this stuff says highlighter 101 powder liquid cream i mean i guess you could benefit from this too they're just giving you tips on how to use those things so um yeah anyway uh there's one product that I'm going to start with now is the Space Case Eyeshadow in the shade Intense Stargasm. I'm wearing it now, but I mixed it with a few other colors, like a pink and a sparkly, like, blackish purple, because I put this on and it started to clump. I'm not going to swatch it because I'm already too sparkly, and it's on my eyeballs now, just the silver part. It's more of a silver, which I have in a lot of palettes, so it's probably just going to sit in my drawer until someone claims it. So that is that. I'm pretty sure this is like a single shadow. So I'm, I don't know if this is full size or what, but like I said, I'm usually reading off the pamphlet. So that's the first thing I got. The second thing I got is something that I've never gotten in Ipsy before. And this is um, a perfume called She Was an Anomaly. I do. I don't know if that's the word, but we're going to go with it. Um, it's made in France. Uh, I would hope that if they would have sent a pamphlet stating what this, <coughs> excuse me, stating what this was, it would have told me like the notes on it, but, um, this is what it looks like. I received a perfume from Birchbox a long time ago when I got it and I only had it for like two months and it was legitly big enough for Emma's Barbie dolls to play with. So I sprayed it already. It smells okay. I mean, I'm a perfume hoarder anyway, so I have a crap ton of bed and body works, bath and body works, sorry, in my closets and all that other junk. So I might throw this in my purse, even though I have a full size bottle of something in my purse anyway, but maybe my mom will like it. I don't know. So that's the second item. The third item is something that I'm kind of angry about because on my profile, it says no uh, nail polishes. I'm not going to put this on my nails for you guys because my nails are still kind of healing from when I had to snap all my acrylics off due to quarantine. So my nails are pretty jacked up. I don't know if you can see where my fake nails were still, but they're still pretty sensitive and pretty jacked up and I'm not trying to put anything on them. But this is uh, Camellia Drive. It's by Be Your Incredible Self Nails Inc. And again, my mom doesn't really paint her nails because she's in you know um uh cleaners all day sorry brain fart and emma really doesn't paint her nails because she gets it everywhere so it's just gonna sit in my nail polish bag it might go to my sister she paints her nails uh fourth thing is this little tarte h2o gloss in the shade sail away i did not put this on because i pulled it out of the tube and it was very sticky i guess i'll swatch it for you guys i think i have a makeup wipe right here Oh. It smells like vanilla, like all glosses. It feels very sticky. Probably gonna give it to Emma or my mom. That's what it looks like. 
it's sticky and I don't like glosses or sticky glosses for that matter. Anyway, um, the fifth item, yes, in my bag, the last item is this Pirelis Matcha Green Tea and Lemon Detoxifying Charcoal Mask. And then when I saw Charcoal Mask, I'm like, oh no, it's going to be that one horrid one that you pull off your face, your whole face freaking with. Because I tried that once and ripped off half my eyebrow. So, um, but it's not. It's for oily combination in an oily combination in normal, even sensitive skin, which I've been having lately for some reason. I just recently found out that I'm allergic to tea tree oil. I was using one of those masks, um, the African soap mask. Uh, it was a clay mask and I put it on. They said put it on for 10 minutes and it started to tingle, but I was like, sometimes they do that and kind of just, you know, went about the 10 minutes. And then by like seven minutes in, it started to get unbearable. So I went and I washed it off and my face was so puffy and so red. And I thought maybe this is just a coincidence because I've never tried this mask before. So I wiped it off. It got my face to cool down. It took like an hour. And the next day I was cleaning out my mask bin and I found another one. So I opened it and I put a little on my hand and the same thing happened in the puffy redness. So I kind of just chalked it up to having an allergy to it. So I'm trying to stay away from that. But luckily this does not have tea tree oil in it. At least I do not think so. It doesn't have the ingredients on it, so I'm going to have to look that up. But it says matcha, green tea, and lemon. Uh, it says the benefits of it is that it is a powerful antioxidant that moisturizes skin and protects from signs of aging. aging. Lemons brightens with a boost of vitamin C. White clay tightens and skins and purifies pores. And uh, white tea soothes sensitive skin. So um, I'm going to be giving that a try. I don't know what color it is. Probably green. Nope, it's white, ironically. You know, it says charcoal mask. You'd think it'd be green or black. Like, matcha's green and charcoal's black. So, no, it's just white. I don't know if you can see that. But it's white. Kind of smells like pine salt. But um, I guess we'll try it and I'll try that later. After I cannot speak today after I get out of the shower. So, let's see, lipstick, lip gloss, um, nail polish, a perfume, and eyeshadow, and a mask. I think I need to start updating my profile because I haven't done that. Excuse me. I haven't done that in like a month or so. Well, actually, no, that's a big lie. Like, almost a year. I've been so busy, and then I just, I would get them, I would get bags, and then I'd record videos, and then I'd put everything away, and then I would forget, because my profile is on John's phone, because of the way it's set up, because he pays for my Ipsy bags, so my profile is on his phone, so most of the time he's at work, and then when he gets home from work, I usually forget, or I'm asleep, so... I might have to do that this weekend if I set a reminder for myself, so, um, but yeah. Did you guys get Ipsy? Did you like anything? Did you not like anything? Are you thinking about getting Ipsy? I know I'm only talking to my like ugh, 23 followers, but I really don't care because I enjoy doing this even if my followers never grow. And even if they do, it's, it's still something that I enjoy doing from time to time. And um, my, interrupt, my video is about to be interrupted by a small child. What do you want, Blake? Something's wrong with the TV. All right, well, I'm about to end my video, and then I'll get it for you, okay? I'm going to get a banana. Yes, I'm going to get you a banana, too. Sorry about that. Anyway, so, um, yeah, if you guys want to leave a comment below for any reason of what you got, what you didn't like, what you liked, if you're thinking about getting Ipsy, and if the comments are off, please contact me on my Instagram. That link will be in the description below. I really hope you guys have a great Monday. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.